Hello and welcome to ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. Today I'd like to continue. I just created a OneNote notebook for the new spring 2018 semester here at the ITC. I always like to share a notebook with all of our faculty, staff, and students. So let me show you how to make that share capability right now. So just as review from last time, you get to our Office 365 by logging in to our Panther Mail system. So type in your user ID and password and then hit sign in. That will log you in to our main Office 365 uh, account. I'm going to say yes, I do want to stay signed in. So here are our suite of applications. Now I purposefully saved my OneNote notebook to OneDrive. So at this point, since I've already created the notebook, there's a couple ways to get to it. If I know where I stored it, I can go to OneDrive and open it. However, since I've already made it, if I click on the OneNote tab, that will also open it. So I'm going to go here into OneNote. It will give me a list of my most recent OneNote notebooks. Now I have several, so it's going out there and retrieving them. I am using a browser, so sometimes this takes a little bit of time to refresh. Uh, but you can see here that here are some of my recent uh, notebooks and it kind of keeps track of, of where you're at. And if I go down here, oh, this looks like it's not going to uh, have mine open because I have not opened this yet. I literally just created a, a, a few minutes ago. So if I go down and find the name of that, it was called ITC Spring 2018 Semester. And there it is right there. So literally, this is the first time that I've opened this notebook. So it'll go out and in the browser, bring up OneNote and it only has one section and one page as you saw in the last video. But now then, the purpose of this is to share. That's why I saved it to OneDrive. Uh, it's cloud storage. So up here in the upper right hand corner of the interface, if I click on the share button, it will go out there and give me some options for sharing. So I want to share this with anyone it says anyone with a link can view and edit. Now I don't want people to edit this notebook. This is just purely for dissemination of information. So if I come down here and use this little triangle to give me some extra choices, you'll see that the little checkbox is checked next to allow editing. I do not want to allow editing. Only allow editing for people that you trust for some collaboration type work because they can add to a notebook, but if you allow editing, they can also delete away from your notebook. So again, I'm not going to require anybody to log in. Anybody with this link can get to the ITC Spring 2018 semester notebook. So I'm going to hit apply. It will go out there and it says anyone with the link can view. And if I come down here, it says copy link. It'll go out, generate that share link. And then this is what I need to share in some fashion. Now I'm going to copy this. And for now, I'm going to paste it into this OneNote notebook where I could open up a Word document or send an email with this great big long link. Now, it's, it's very long, so you're going to want to shorten it some way, and I typically use Bitly. So I will take that link, share it with anyone, and I will share this from our main ITC website page at eiu.edu slash ITC. In fact, if I go over there right now, since this is the start of a new semester, eiu.edu slash ITC, Whenever I go there, and if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see that here is the link left over from the fall 2017 semester. So I'll be replacing this with the link that I just shared, and you'll be able to go. And as I add new content to this spring 2018 semester notebook, every time you visit that link, you'll get a most recent copy of this notebook. So it's a great way for us to share here at EIU all the different projects and demos and demonstrations. And as I meet with students and share links, it's just kind of that collection point and you're always just a click away. So that's how easy it is to share a OneNote notebook. Until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.